With the new season of Fortnite comes a new set of milestones, some that we have encountered before and some that are brand new to us. And today I'm going to be showing you the fastest ways you can complete these milestones by using tricks, exploits, or some just some common knowledge. But before we get started, just real quick, it turns out that only 8% of my viewers are subscribed. So if you're interested in seeing Fortnite, Minecraft, and horror game content, please consider liking the video and subscribing down below. It's free and it helps the channel out a ton. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. Bounties can be a bit of a pain to deal with when you're doing them for milestones, but I got a few pieces of great news for you. This season, it only takes 5 completed bounties in order to progress to the next milestone, opposed to 10 from the previous two seasons. And as many of you probably noticed by now, you don't actually have to complete the bounty yourself in order to, for it to go towards your milestone. It just has to be poached. So what does this all mean for us? Well, various bounty boards are placed around the map, all at POIs and even at some unnamed locations. What we can do is go to one of these bounty boards, accept a bounty, and make our way to our next board. If things all go according to plan, we either run into our bounty and kill them, or they get poached by the time we make it to our next bounty board. We can then accept their next bounty and repeat this process throughout the match. And yes, some matches may be more successful than others, but trust me, this will make things go a lot faster either way. This one is real easy. Grab a cow catcher and throw it on a vehicle. And it wouldn't hurt to get some off-road tires on there too. Now, all you have to do is plow through the structures. It's super easy and satisfying. But if for some reason you can't find a cow catcher, no worries. There's an exploit we can use here. The milestone says deal damage while in a vehicle, not with a vehicle. If you have some grenades, all you can do is throw the grenades from your car at structures and it will go towards the milestone. Heck, shooting guns from a vehicle at structures will work too. This one's easy, but it can be kind of time consuming. Drop somewhere with a lot of structures. I prefer the daily bugle, but anywhere with a lot of structures works just fine. And pretty much just land and then start hitting those weak points. It'll go pretty quick in terms of how long the season is going to be. And you may not get them all in the first match, but it will still get done a lot faster. Cash registers are placed in many places around the map, even some places that I'm not aware of yet. But the best place to go when looking for these is the taco restaurant in Greasy Grove. Up to four registers can spawn there a match. Another great place to look is Sleepy Sound. A lot can spawn around that town. This one is another easy one. You're going to want to land at Reality Falls. You're going to notice a lot of reality saplings planted there, some matches more than others. And some people just don't know how to pick their dang fruit. But this is good for you because you can pick it and put it towards your milestone. Trust me, focusing on this milestone a lot will very quickly get it done. I can't really help you out on this one. You could either fight out the matches if you're skilled enough, or you could play it safe and camp it out. This one obviously is going to require a buddy, but what you guys are going to do is land at a reboot van that no one is going to land near, keep dying and rebooting each other over and over. I'd say the hardest part of this milestone is finding a buddy that's committed to completing this milestone as much as you are. Another one that I can't help you out a whole ton on, but what I can do is tell you to just land somewhere with a lot of chests such as the Daily Bugle and you can get it done a lot quicker. It may however be better to play this on Team Rumble as if you die, you can just land somewhere else to open more. I would say a good place to land is the Dinosaur Bone, but as of right now, there's a weird glitch that won't allow you to dig up the chests, but this may be fixed in the future. The difficulty of this milestone depends on your memory. Get into a habit of thanking the bus driver every match. And I know this seems pretty obvious, but trust me, once you get into the habit of doing it, it's really hard to forget to do it. Yeah. 
This is another super easy one. However, it's time consuming. Land at the Rave Cave in the Cuddle Team Leader Head, grab Baller, and ride the tracks until the Storm Eye closes in on you. Then you just use the Baller into normally until it runs out of energy. And here is a bonus. I found an awesome glitch that you are definitely going to want to try before it may or may not be patched. Grab onto this red piece of metal right here and get on the tracks and keep holding on to this red piece of metal until you get to the bottom of the first hill of the tracks. Quickly press the button you used to aim and then quit, then as soon as you do that, let go of the button used to hold on to the metal piece and you will go flying. Keep in mind that it doesn't work the same every time and sometimes it doesn't even work at all. It just takes time and practice to master. And you could still try again in the same match if it fails. Once again, another one that I can't really help you out on. But what I can say is to get it done faster, if you do find wildlife, ride it until it's completely exhausted to maximize the amount of distance you will be able to travel on it. If you take matches to focus on your sprinting, you can run until your stamina is depleted, wait for it to fill back up, then repeat the process in order to maximize the amount of distance you will sprint, therefore getting it done faster. I recommend landing somewhere that no one else is going to land as they're probably going to try and shoot and kill you. This one's a really easy one. The more matches you play, the faster this gets done. However, it's worth mentioning that this will not work in Team Rumble matches, which is what we are about to get into next. All three of these milestones can overlap each other. If you just focus on getting headshots, then all three of these can get done at the same time, as long as you actually eliminate the person that you are headshot. It's best to do this in team these in Team Rumble, for obvious reasons, as we're spawning and getting back in the battlefield in a matter of seconds. Okay, I have found an awesome exploit to help you restoring health but we will get into that in a, in a minute. When you, what you want to do in a Team Rumble match is land at a POI near the edge of the island and away from the Storm Eye. Start opening chests and looking for healing and shield items. And hey, here's a bonus for chest openings milestone. And take everything that is health or shield related, depending on what milestone you're looking to focus on. And don't worry if you are currently in the storm. Use those healing items as your health gets low, and the storm will automatically take away the health that you restore. And then use the shield items as you wait for your health to lower. Now, here is the exploit. If you find Med Mist, this is liquid gold for you. Because I found out that every time you die, it refills back to 150. Just as long as you don't drain it down to zero, this is an infinite source of health for the round. Just go into the storm, and use it down to 5, and every time you die, repeat the process, and this will get done really, really quick. And that is every tip and trick for each milestone in the season that I have for you. Doing these tricks will really help you build up your XP and get you to level 200 this season. If you found these tricks helpful, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. All support is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.